Okay, friends, so what to do once you have limiting parallels? What to do once you have a ray, a B, and a ray PD that is limiting parallel to AB? Well, if you connect these, and then you decide, well, these get closer and closer to each other without touching. In fact, the picture really sort of looks like this. It appears that these points are getting closer and closer to some ideal point way out on the horizon. And if they touch each other way out on the horizon, then this shape is like a triangle. Now, it's not a triangle. In fact, it only has two angles. There's no angle out here. There's no vertex out here. Could be a trilateral, could be a biangle, but what we are going to call this is an asymptotic triangle. And the definition will sort of be that we have these two limiting parallel rays uh, joined with the segment connecting their endpoints. So we will call this asymptotic triangle DPAB, where P and A are the only two vertices. D and B just sort of give us the direction where the limiting parallel rays are heading. So here, we only have two angles and one side, which should make things fairly easy. A couple quick theorems about this. If DPAB is an asymptotic triangle, and if C is on the other side of A from B, then the measure of angle CAP is greater than the measure of angle APD. So I have my asymptotic triangle. And I take my point C on the other side of A from B. And I argue that the exterior angle theorem holds this angle out here ought to be greater than this angle over here. And the way we go at this, oddly enough, is we extend, we pick a point G on the other side of PA from B such that this angle is congruent to this one. We can do that. Protractor postulate says we can do that. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to prove, well, I'm going to get to this. I'm going to show that this has to be bigger than that. Uh, or really, no, let's do it this way. Let's do it where you will finish the details of that proof. You should probably read it in Venema's work. But suffice it to say that if I've got an asymptotic triangle, the exterior angle theorem holds. An exterior angle has to be greater than the other interior angle, the other remote interior angle, which also means by way of corollary that the measure of angle APD plus the measure of angle PAB is less than 180 degrees. That should be fairly straightforward to prove. What is more bizarrely interesting and that we really should consider, we're going to let EPAB and FQCD B 
be two asymptotic triangles. If the measure of angle APE is congruent to the measure of angle CQF, and if this side is congruent to that one, then angle PAB is congruent to angle QCD. If I have an asymptotic triangle and the sides are congruent and one of the angles are congruent, then the other angle has to be congruent. I will flesh that out for you when we get together, but this is the side angle congruence condition. Similarly, similarly, if angle APE is congruent to angle CQF and angle PAB is congruent to angle QCD, then the sides have to be congruent. This is the angle-angle congruence condition. This is the thing that you will prove when we gather in class next time. There's a lot for you to prove. There are also parallels for you to classify, but we can't get there yet. So that's where we are for the moment. There it is.